Okay, this is the Emo Teep Radiant Oscillator in a box, and it's the solid state version. What I did was I replaced the relay that was a noisy thing and it was temperamental with this circuit, the John Bedini self oscillating circuit, with a few minor changes, and it went in where that relay went. The rest of the circuit in the box looks like that. There's a couple of uh, inputs for uh, power and outlet for power and fuses, but basically that's the circuit. And then um, this was the, the big thing here was John Bedini's uh, self-oscillating charging circuit. And it all went in there. Uh, it's a tight fit. But the only thing that's different on the outside of the box is this trimmer right here to trim the, uh, it's the pot for trimming the uh, transistor base voltage. Resistance, I'm sorry, the resistance on the base. Um, it was a 2K resistor in a circuit and I actually went to a 1K wire round uh, uh, re rheostat actually, wire round resistor potentiometer uh, with a uh, 100 ohm resistor tied into that. This is the rheostat right here, and these two work together. If you don't have these together, you can't get this to dance. And this is the, the dancing device here. <laughs> and everything else is the same. The high, low, and, and Mark's bulb is actually handy too because it glows when there's drawing too much uh, juice through it. So you want that to dial down until it doesn't glow anymore. And it'll run two bulbs, and it'll make them high or low. Just like it did before, same thing. And then, like I say, the trimmer, you have to trim this up to get to the right uh, frequency on it. And you can actually see the, the bulbs uh, dance around as the uh, frequencies change on this. And you can actually see the, the uh, oscillations going on on these bulbs. And that, that was kind of neat to watch and get it into cadence. You can use the radio, too. But if you turn one of the bulbs off, you do make one of the bulbs brighter. And that's the, the 100 watt uh, Sylvania daylight bulb right there. And you can uh, make that guy come on pretty darn bright if you want to. But anyway, that's the Emotep radiant oscillator light, solid state in a box. And there's just a lot of guts in here now. That's the whole thing, including three battery packs. I got all three battery packs back in it. This is a standard SSG coil now, about 423 wraps each on that with a um, transistor sitting up here so I can feel if it gets warm or not. I've got a little heat sink here for it to be able to feel it, but it doesn't get very warm. And then the rheostat's another thing you gotta, you got to watch out for. I have a heat sink in there for it, but that gets warm too. But those are the only two things you got to watch out for. i got a little neon here for a safety device uh, on the transistor, but I haven't seen it glow yet, so I don't think that's necessary. And then I fused it with some fuses here, too. But yeah, it runs great. It doesn't make any noise. And uh, you can put the power in over here on the side uh, if you want to charge them up. And then, of course, if you don't have it hooked up, it's just running on its own now. And then uh, you can come out to the back here and take out power on the charging. And uh, I have these uh, s situated right now on the charge batteries. There's one right here, and there's one over here that they're different circuits. One of the charge batteries is coming off the Emotep Radiant Oscillator circuit, and the other charge battery is coming off of the Bedini circuit. So I've got two separate charging circuits going on right now with one driver. And uh, we'll see how that plays out. But uh, the more juice you put into this, the more charge you get out of it. But uh, it does work. I mean, it's quiet. It does what it's supposed to do, and it does work. Emotep Radiant Oscillator Light.